Okay, so I'm refitting the uh, spark plug tubes. I've got one in already. And I don't know if you can see, but there is actually just a very small rim of um, sealant around that, which uh, is the, uh, the Loctite that I mentioned before. This Loctite 5910 um, black silicon, which is, uh, I'm very impressed by. I've used it lots of things over the years and it works really well. So here's the uh, sealing washer which I've sort of annealed and um, then just polished up a bit to get it back to the copper, get the scale off. Um, they are pretty soft, they bend quite easily now. Um, one side you can see there's a witness mark where the, the bottom of the tube went before, so you can tell which way up it used to be. So I'm going to put it up the other way, just so that the any sort of ridges that are on it dig into the, uh, the surface that they're up against. Hopefully seal better. Uh, here's the silicon. So what I did on the first one was just get a smear of this onto the washer, just to start with, not a lot, just um, to sort of wet it, as it were, and hopefully seal any minor surface imperfections if there are any. So that's just so smeared with it. <coughs> And just drop this in here up the way as I say that it wasn't before which I mean the opposite way to what it was before so then back to the tube again I just put a skim of the sealant around this spigot and nothing on the inside so it shouldn't um, leak into the spark plug area itself but if anything, it will seal the outside of the tube against the cylinder head. And um, as seems to happen with the last one, it works its way up the thread. So the thread is sealed as well, so with a bit of luck, let's go with the washer and this uh, high modulus silicon. It won't leak again, but time will tell, of course. I have a suspicion that some people will be horrified at the idea of putting silicon on these tubes, but um, what the hell, I'm going to do it anyway. That's probably enough. I'm just trying to sort of fill up this spigot. Got a blob on the thread there, which is annoying. Never mind, I'll wipe it off in a minute. There we go. So, back to the car. Shove it in. I thread it pretty easily, which is uh, good. So the threads seem okay. Well, I suppose the silicon sealant helps to lubricate the thread while it's still fluid. Slightly tight spot just there, but it's still going by hand. reaching where it should be now. Yeah, that's down all the way, I think. Good. So now it's just a question of tightening up. Using the uh, this sleeve and the raw bolt. Just put that in there. Raw bolt as well. 
There we go. Oops. This aluminium sleeve is much better, as I say, than the rubber was. Um, this works really well. So the 16mm bolt and a 2mm aluminium sleeve works a treat because this now tightens up quite snugly. And with a mole wrench on the wheel bolt. Give it to grip, there we go. It just tightens a bit, but not a lot. Mm. Yeah, that's about as much as it's going to go, I think. So it's certainly all the way down. Good. Undo the rule bolt. works quite easily. There we go. see down there but um, so I can see the washer down there and the little rim of sealant around it and on the top end here so there's a looks to be a seal sealant around there as well so so hopefully that's not gonna leak for some time at least <clears throat> good thanks for watching